What's up, chat? What's up, YouTube, man? Shout out to the YouTube viewership, man. You guys have been coming through. I know this isn't the most watched thing on YouTube. Competitive man is not the most talked about thing on YouTube. But those that watch, man, you guys know, put your cash app, put your PayPal below. I've been blessing about two, three people every single podcast because you guys have been rocking with me on the YouTube, man. One of my pictures done fell over. It's my hot. I've been working all weekend, man. Been working all weekend. Uh, getting this office together. Uh, my, I went back home to Philly to really um, go ahead and uh, get all my stuff, get all my drawings, get my belt, get my desk. I was tired of working on that little Walmart desk. It was definitely pop. It was definitely rough. So I went and got everything. So I will be staying out here at least for the least for the rest of the summer. Uh, I am in. Where am I in? I am in Columbus, Ohio. Columbus, Ohio, right now. That is where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? No, I, I'll i be honest with you. Um, It's not all together. I got so much work to do. I've been doing so much work these last couple of days, uh, really just moving all this shit out here in one truck and uh, unpacking it, moving all her stuff out, just just really going through it, man. Uh, and But I will show the rest of it, really. Um, this is this is it. As I told you, this is uh what I've been working on. It was a guest bedroom. Like I said, I have my drawings up there. I had a belt. You know what I'm saying this is what I've been. This is why I ain't been streaming. I've really been in here like Bob the Builder with hammered nails, my drill, putting anchors in the wall, messing it up, having to do it back. Bunch of different things I've been doing it all day or all weekend, honestly. Uh, and last I got more stuff coming. It's just I feel like every time with the streaming stuff, every time you think you got it, bro, you just need to go get something else. There's always something new. It's only something nice. And this is the rest of the room look like this. You know what I'm saying? But I got a bunch of different cameras, a bunch of different angles to give you guys once I get it all settled down, all put together, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's just, it's a process, you know? And for real, like, for the last, shoot, two days I've been in here nonstop just really hanging shit up and doing all this extra stuff. Uh, I'm going to have to gonna have to keep, keep doing more. It's always something else, man. I talked to my guy, and he was like, man, things are good, but you could use X, Y, and Z. You could use this. You could use that. So... This is what I've been doing. Uh, gonna be here at least for the rest of the summer. Uh, at least probably for this year. My, I mean, shoot. So it's it's pretty dope. Uh, coronavirus pretty much has trapped me inside, and I decided I'd rather be with my girl inside than be uh, without her. So we are here now, and um, you know, like I said, this is it. This is what I've been working on. This is why I've been streaming. Uh, this is just our goal. So this is the podcast. So I appreciate all you guys rocking. Uh, as long as y'all been rocking. And this is, I mean, honestly, this is probably one of my most, this is probably one of my most anticipated shows and most anticipated times of the year, really. Uh, as we get into this, before we get into this, you know, we, we didn't talk about it enough. It's time. It is single de Mayo, right? You know what I'm saying? It is single de Mayo. I don't know. Like I said, tell you guys this. What are you guys drinking? That's what I'm wondering. What are you guys drinking? Because honestly, I'm not the biggest tequila guy. Mmm. Smells good though. I heard the dark tequila is the move. You know what I'm saying? That's what I've been told. We pour a little cup. A little cup for the night. Nothing crazy. That's not a shot, that's a cup. I'm saying we're I don't know if we're on the shot life anymore. I put it in a glass because you know. I didn't want to do a shot glass. I feel like that was a little childish. I feel like I just want to sip. It is Cinco de Mayo, man. We, we reached a hype train. You know, I'm feeling good. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Room is looking good. I got I to gotta keep up with it. I got to keep grinding. It's always something else, man. And and as much as, like, I, I know when I was, like, just starting streaming, I would see everybody stream, like, damn, I could never get there. But everything is, like, it's, just, it's a process. It's really just a long Stretch like you don't start this way streaming. You start off the Xbox or off the PlayStation. That's pretty much where you start, really. That's the good one. Let me smell. <sighs> Not the biggest tequila guy. I'll be honest. This is gonna put me this much. This much yellow. It's gonna put me down. Jesse has a new name. Sosa, my guy with the five months, man. If you guys are not watching these podcasts live, Tuesday, eight p.m. That's when we get done. On my Twitch, all those links are below. Pro Bowls, thank you, man. It 
Snabe. Snabe. Is that Jesse? That's what you rebranded to? Jessa? With three underscores? That's the biggest L ever. Put L's in the chat. Bro, that is the biggest L I have ever seen in a rebrand. That is the biggest L ever. Like, really, that is the biggest L we have ever seen in a rebrand ever. That is the biggest. The thing about a rebrand is, listen, because as we go, once again, we're going on topic because you guys brought up a topic. I didn't know that was Jesse. I thought that was, a, I thought I had a new mod. I didn't know who, I thought it was a mod that hasn't been on my Twitch for like two years. But this is the thing about a rebrand, right? A rebrand happens because you're tired of your old name, right? You're tired of it. You're like, this name isn't good. It's kind of corny now. And it doesn't happen right away. You know what I'm saying? Like my man Wesley, good rebrand. You know what I'm saying? The rebrand doesn't happen away. The rebrand is in the works in your mind for months. So it's not like he had 30 seconds to pick a name. This Jessa with three underscores was in his fucking mind for months. And he finally had the nuts to drop it. You know? That like that is what you thought of. Like not everybody is blessed with creativity. Creativity is a blessing. It is. One million percent. And Jesse clearly has never been like, bro, I'm I'm honestly disappointed. I honestly want him to go change this right now. I, I, the show will not continue. One, either Jesse's timed out for the entire show or he changes his name. He's got 10 minutes to figure it out. All right, chat? If he comes back within 10 minutes with this same busted ass name, he's out of here. All right? We got to agree on that. That's just That's just rough. Do something. Get a new account. Start over. Start fresh. Log out. Sign out. Create a new account. New email. The way these, the, all these free Andres get new emails every 30 seconds. My man Steve with the sub, man. That is nasty. That is nasty. Like, that name is just nasty. He really put that. He typed it. Do, you know how they ask you to? Do you really want to change your name to this? This dude said yes. He clicked yes with his mouse. Hard as shit. Yes. Yes. No. What were you thinking? No. My name is Jess. My last name is Jesse Holder. Well, listen. Well, I mean, you, your name would be better if it was Jesse Holder rather than Jessa with three underscores. The H is my last name. But what you have to realize, nobody knows that. Listen, let me tell you another thing about names and brands. If you have to explain your name, the shit sucks. You know, that's it. Like if you have to, if you have to give me a a paragraph on why your name is what it is, then like, bro, you didn't make your mark in a person. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You didn't make your mark. Your name sucks. Jay Bird, your name's terrible too. Oh, you guys, Jay Bird, we, we I, I, I'm over Jay Bird. I'm over Jay Bird as, as because we told Jay Bird, Doma and I probably two years ago at the Foxwoods, like, bro, just make your name Mr. Bird. Mr. Bird is hell. Nobody's going to check Mr. Bird. He's the man. He can pull holes. He can play Madden. He could drive a taxi. Whatever the hell Mr. Bird wants to do, Mr. Bird does. Jay Bird, ass. And another thing, let's rewind a little bit, Jay Bird, because the day I put a poll up in my podcast about what your name should be is the day I no longer should have a show. Because that's not the content I need. I don't need that. That my man Izzy Dread with that Twitch Prime. That's rough, man. Fucking Jaber. Put up a poll for my name. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Yeah, let's do that, chat. I should have put that over there on the, on the topics there. Jaybird's name change. You know what I'm saying? My man fill in the blanks with that. Yeah, I did. But uh, honestly... Low man is a hell name. So I, now I don't know why your Twitch name is Earth to Elmos. Doesn't make much sense. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it is what it is. So, chat as we go on. Karma, my guy, thank you. But uh, what I did want to talk about as I got to look over here at my things is, bro, I, I can't lie. This is the most excited I've been for a Madden tournament because it's so much we don't know. There's so much we are going to find out tomorrow. There is so much to, uh, that still needs to be, you know, talked about and and i didn't I, honestly we could have talked about um we could have talked about predictions we all had predictions we know the groups i don't even have the groups up here right now but what what was awesome to me is that yo they have shown me these entire players roster 
and their entire playbooks and everything, man. So I was like, bro, what a better idea than we could actually go over these guys' roster on the podcast. Like that, and, and we can I had to say we can rate rosters one to ten on who has the best roster. Because I've seen some super tough rosters, and I've seen some shitty ones. Also, Tons of different abilities that we haven't seen so much. Some we have seen, and we're going to just, I'm just, after looking at the rosters, looking at the groups, I'm really anxious on how all this is going to play out tomorrow and the next days. Now, from my understanding, like I said, I've been in this room for, for 48 hours straight, hammering shit, hanging shit up, trying to be Bob Villa, and it's been rough. Uh... But my understanding is that Group A is tomorrow, B is uh, the next day, C is the next day, D is the next day. Is that how it works? Um, and then playoffs will be one day? How, ex- somebody help me with uh, exactly how the layout is, you know. Bob Villa, home of, they, see, see, Tommy, what's crazy is I think the chat is too young for Bob Villa. That's what's kind of nuts, you know. I, I, I really... I think the chat is too young for Bob Vila. Playoffs one day, finals another day. Okay, okay. But am I right with each group is one day? Every every day is a group? Is that right? So tomorrow is just group A. And then just group B and group A, one day. Okay. Okay, now I want to look at these. I want to take a look at these. Because these groups, uh, if just off face value, we can go ahead and look at this right now, chat. I'm drinking right now, too. I'm sipping this. I'm sipping this to killer. So shout out to you guys in the chat. This 1800 reposado. Digame, digame. But anyway, okay. So if a group is, if a group is, what you call it? If a group essentially is um one day, do you think we'll have games simultaneously played? Is that what's going to happen? Are we going to have Volt versus Pavin and Joke versus uh, Boogs going on at the same time? Are we going to do one at a time? What do we think? What is the vibe? Is, is is every game one at a time? I would prefer one at a time. I One at a time would be awesome. Wesley checked in and said one at a time. That's going to be cool. I'm really I'm really cool with that. Um, I, the, Also, another thing. Okay, so Boogs and Joke are playing. Now Volt and Pavin can watch them play. Are they allowed to play their friend? Like, can they hop in a lab game real quick? Like, oh, Joke got a new run. Let me try to stop this. Or are they, like, suspended from play? Like, how does that work, chat? Every game will be seen. I think that's awesome. But like I said, if I'm playing the second game, I would be watching and maybe be in practice mode at the same time, trying to find out how to stop what run they got. Yeah, you're all time that you can do what you want. So in this situation, I feel like, uh, dude, it's tough. Like, could Pavin essentially be in a Discord with all his friends trying to find out how to stop joke new run play? You know? Seriously, like, and I don't know... And I really don't know, I, I, I mean, I, I'm assuming all these guys thought about this. I, I mean, they're better, like, nerds than me. All right, so, th- uh, does anyone know what game is first? First of all, I want to take a look. This is Group A. I'm, dude, like, between Joke and Volt, I'm like, what offense are they going to bring to the party? Like I, I, like, like I said, with Joke all year, he's kind of been ahead of the curve. He's kind of been, Joke has really been ahead of the curve every tournament on offense. Not really. I won't say the DC. Uh, Strong Close was really good, but I think by the time they got to the to, to the um, live event, it wasn't that tough. <clears throat> but as far as the Classic and Ma- and the Madden Club Championship, Joke has really been ahead of the curve on offense. So definitely excited with Joke as one bring party. Volt is a mad scientist. Um, definitely interested to see. And the biggest thing, I was like, do these guys really think no quarterback is going to work again. So as we take a look at Joke's roster, first of all, I want to see what Volt's going to do. Let's look at Volt. Volt is the number one club champion. Um, Oakland playbook, Oakland defense. Uh, we know he's in 3-3-5, normal, pretty much against everything. As the first thing I look at is Volt. What are your abilities? Alex Max identifier, just to see where the runners are. Uh, Bo Jackson, human joystick. So, if you want to see Volt, who honestly goes down as probably the best play. <clears throat> I got something in my throat. Pause. The best play in uh, MCS history was Volt in that in that before half touchdown. So, to have that type of stick with human joystick Bo Jackson, uh, that honestly might be scary. 
you know, it might be scary. As we look at his off defense, he just has lurker and secure tackler on Troy Palomalu. If you play ball or you watch him play 3 3 5 normal, it says a pretty good offensive line, nothing crazy. Uh, then no quarterback, a little bit of a fullback, and Bo Jackson. So he doesn't even have a. What I look at is he doesn't have anybody else to even hand the ball off to. Maybe he could give a hand off to Kyle Juszczyk, but it pretty much just comes down to Bo. I mean, 123 cap. What is. Human joystick is 125, right, chat? So that's essentially. 250 cap, 248 cap on a running back, you know. Uh, now you say that. Uh, but you say, joystick, you're not tackling without an ability. So we shall see what the other people have to combat that uh, with the vote in their group. Now, before I talk about these rosters, chat, talk to me. Like, if you were preparing for this tournament, would you go... Yo, would you have a mindset, I have to build a team to beat everybody, or would you be more concerned at just getting out of your group? Would you build a team to get out of your group? Like, if you're in a group with Volt and Joke, would you build a run defensive team, even though you might have to beat Kiv or Wesley for the championship? Would you focus on getting out of the group or focus on the whole thing? You know? As we go down here and look, we go down here and look at the defense, Ed Reed, I feel like this is probably the most popular card right now. On Like, everybody has this Ed Reed. I'm assuming 99 speed. I'm really... Ed Reed, because me, I was out of the tournament. I haven't looked at cap cards. Um, Ed Reed is not a card I would ever want in Mutt, so I never had Mutt. I never had Ed Reed. Never looked at this card. I'm assuming 99 speed. Uh, I don't know. He's the cheapest 99 speed safety. Okay. Now, for me in this game, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree, uh, without abilities in the secondary, for me, it's just speed. Uh, unless I feel like Taylor Mays and Sean Taylor kind of have a built-in enforcer. I don't think Ed Reed has that. You know, I could be wrong. I never used Ed Reed. But for me, I'm not in love. I, oh, he can get secure tackler, which I, does he, he doesn't have secure tackler on him. So for me, if you're not going to have... Uh, secure tackler. I wouldn't mind seeing a, a 99 speed corner. That's a little cheaper cap. But Volt has the cap to uh, spare. Calvin Johnson is just an absolute animal. I think, um, I mean, there's nothing else to say about going ticket, um, Calvin Johnson. Then you have Lawrence Taylor and Clowney. Full LT, full Clowney. They'll be his defensive ends. Uh, 13 cap Vita Vea will be his D tackle. Then his three linebackers in 3 3 5. Normal Isaiah Simmons, Shazier. I mean, I guess I think Simmons is 96 speed. Shazier, I really don't know. Probably 99 speed. Then Palomalu, 99. I mean, dude, you talk about at, and then the three DBs. Denzel Ward, who I think is really like a stud in this game. Bro, Denzel Ward is a stud in this game. The only reason I don't have him starting is because I want Patrick Peterson and, and Slay. And Mutt, I think Denzel Ward is a stud. Dion, I. Something amazes me that people actually have the other Dion over this Dion. I don't know why. Um, I think once you hit 99 speed, Dion already has the. I guess the press rating maybe is better on that 81 cap Dion, but this Dion's glitched. And then Lattimore is another one that I've seen a lot of people move past from, but I think Lattimore is just super super stud. I really I really like all three of these corners. I really do. Uh, like I said, I, his defense is defense. Then you got Big Vane Zane. I'm also interested in seeing what special teams these guys bring to the party. This is Volt, Big Vane Zane. I mean, this is like, honestly, this is going to be tough. I mean, oh, man, I'm excited to see this play. Uh, you know, I, I really, uh, I'm excited to see what he can do with Bo Jackson. Uh, and, and with this, I really think he has no problem punting the ball, you know. I'm, this is what I mean. I'm, I'm, I mean, he has a 10 cap punter. I guess he'll be all right with that, really. Um, but we'll, we'll definitely. This is. This is. I can't wait to see Volt work with Bo Jackson and do his thing, man. Really. As we go back, um, let's uh, let's take a look at. All right, now let's take a look at Bugs, who who's going to play Pavin and Joke, right? Now, agree, confirm this. Once you lock this team, and that's all you got. If you get out of playoffs, you cannot change the team. That's your team, right? I, that's what I'm assuming. That you have one team, no changing the whole way. That's what I'm assuming. Okay, you just change, you just can't change it. All right, let's take a look. All right, let's take a look at Joke. Like I said, well, I'll take a look at Joke's team. Joke, 
like I said, has been a step ahead of everybody offensively the entire year for the most part. Uh, and he had, does not have a belt to show for it, where I think he could have won every tournament, really. Uh, or at least the first two, Classic and the club championship. Um, as we got, uh, he has a lot on offense. Lane Johnson, love it. I mean, Joe Thomas, <laughs> the tight end version at tight end. You know what position he's going to be playing, wide receiver. You have Gale Sayers and Franco Harris. This is what I like about Joe has gone here. The 11 cap quarterback, obviously, he's never going to pass the ball, not once. But I like that he has this Franco because it can give somebody else the ball, you know, uh, while while Gale Sayers is tired. I'm not the biggest Gale Sayers fan. He was kind of tough to tackle, uh, like, when he was the best card in Mutt. Um, but, you know, obviously, that's, but does this card I'm, does this card have 99 speed? That's my question to you guys. Does uh, this card have, I'm assuming he has 99 speed. Um, yeah. We'll see. But I do like having another person you can give the ball to, you know. But, you know, I, I and we have, as we look up here, we have Secure Protector and Nasty Streak on both of his backup tackles. You know, how is this going to work? Where is he going to plug those in? Is he going to put them at tight end? I heard rumors of uh, Nasty Streak at fullback. I heard a lot of rumors like that. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with these Nasty Streaks. Where do they play? What formation are they going to run? Uh, I, I'm like, I'm blown away. I just want to see how this works. I, I really do. I'm excited to watch this. I would never want to play against this. Um, but we'll see. Like I said, we got Joe Thomas who's going to be in wide receiver. Uh, and I also, I also say like this chat, does patching two, four, five odd, does that, how much has this affected this tournament in the last two weeks? Gail can truck. Yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, Bo Jackson can truck too. Yeah, I, <laughs> two big nasties, Colton Miller and Brian O'Neill, man. I, I mean, then I heard the secure practice. I, I, I haven't seen any inside stuff. I haven't seen any of that from anybody. Like, defensively, I haven't seen abilities to stop the run at all, really. You know, and then we come down here to defense. As we see over here with, you know, 703 on defense. He's still spent, he's probably spent 50, 60 more cap on offense than Volt has. He has the more offensive linemen, has the two guys he can hand the ball off to. Uh, a bunch, four different abilities on offense. But defensively, Taylor Mays, I think, is just a glitch. I think for me, if I'm looking at Volt's team, I would take Taylor Mays. I haven't used that read. But I would take Taylor Mays over Ed Reed, especially it looks like he's cheaper in cap. I don't know. Is it really just that one point of speed that we want Ed Reed over Taylor Mays? Um, I, I don't know. Um, like I said, I haven't used Ed Reed. You guys can tell me if he's really that glitch. Taylor Mays is just absolutely speed. Taylor Mays is 98 speed. How can Ed Reed be two speed faster? Mays is 97. I swear Mays is 98 speed, bro. Taylor Mays. No. Unless y'all unless talking, y'all can't use Madden. Okay, all right, all right. So Ed Reed gets 99 speed without Coach Madden. Okay, 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 all right. All right, well, I guess that's a big deal. I guess 10 cap for Taylor Mays I really do think is glad. How fast? Everybody, I, I've never been a Justin Reed guy all year. I don't know. Um, I'm assuming he's fast as hell too, but, you know, 97. Yeah, so these guys aren't. So, so what you're looking at is Joke's defense is not 99 speed up top. But uh, to sit here, Shazier and this Jerome Baker. Jerome Baker is one of the glitchiest cars that came out. Um, and then we go over to defense. Still has the Lattimore. Still has a Clowney. Um, Dwight Freeney, Frank Clark. That's three good pass rushers. Deion Sanders. Like Here we go. Back with Lattimore and Deion are just really good. We have a little bit better punter, and we have Big Vane Zane. I, I mean, I, I hate Tracy Porter, but to be your fourth DB, that's really good. Two stud linebackers, as you'll probably see Baker and Shazier, middle linebacker in 3-4 with Freeney and Clowney, outside linebackers. And you see, does he have any? Yeah, power specialist on Frank Clark. Secure tackler on both the safeties. That's tough. I mean, I feel like that's a really solid defense, man. I don't think I don't think he can get Taylor Mays at inside line. Oh, maybe, yeah, he can look because he got all left ends. Um, I don't know. I don't know how these scumbags do that shit. I guess he does have left hand. He can put Taylor Mays a middle linebacker. If that's the case, then, okay, yeah, that's tough. Yeah. 
So Taylor Mays and Taylor Mays and Shazier, middle linebacker, Baker and Clowney, I guess, would be outside linebackers with Freeney and Frank Clark in the middle, maybe one ten cap somewhere. That's tough. Unless unless we can get re- I guess Baker and Shazier play outside linebacker. And then you yeah, that's tough. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good that's a good team. I mean, solid. I, I like I said, um, I want to see what he does with these fat, with these nasties. We'll see if it's t- is the nasties with Gale Sayers tougher than Volts, uh, Bo Jackson with the human joystick. That's the chat. How do we feel about that? We, like, we'll see. That's what it's going to come down to. Like, is the nasty streaks? Is, is the nasty streak going to be more glitchy than Volt with human joystick? Eh. Eh. I mean, the safeties couldn't be too slow, but all these guys have I'm, all these guys have 99 speed. Essentially, the safeties could be middle linebackers and slot DBs. They don't have to be the safeties. They're never going to be the safeties. If they're at middle linebacker, they're never going to really be the safeties, you know? So is the joystick better than nasty streaks? That's what's going to come down to that. Uh, now let's look at Pavin and Books, who are the passers of the group. Now, this is where we get into this whole age-old discussion of passers versus runners, and I'll tell you, it's already hard. Like, Volt and Joke are going to have an absolute dogfight, chat. The Joke versus Volt game, I'm, like, it's crazy. If you would have told me coming into the tor- in the Man 20 that I would love to see, that I would want to see two players just run the ball every play. But I'm going to be locked in for, <laughs> yo, yo, Volt versus Joke is going to be slobbery, bloody, leave it all on the field football. It's going to be a rugby game. That is one million percent joke versus Volt is rugby. But listen, is there a game you want to watch more than joke versus Volt? Madden 20 has made me kind of want to watch that game. Like, I'm hype about that shit. Like, which asshole is going to mess around and give up a 100, 100 yard run or an 80 yard run? You know, that's kind of how I feel. You know? It's going to be fun to watch. And I will be streaming tomorrow all the games so we have a chat room to talk about it. And I cannot wait for that game. Can't wait. Well, So let's look at how Pavin, because this goes back to the whole process of do you build your team for the people in your group or do you build your team for the whole tournament? Now, like I said, if I played Volt, if I was in Volt's group, he would be the number one person I would want to build my team for if I was building for the group. Now, also... Pavin could make a new team after you won LCQ. I'm assuming, correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, chat, but I'm assuming he could make a new team once he advanced from LCQ. I, I hope that's true. I hope he wasn't stuck with the team he had. He might he might have kept the same team, but I hope he had that option to change. Uh, I'm assuming he did. This is the team Pavin has chosen. Offensive line, standard offensive line. This 30 cap or 31 cap, Kellen Winslow, I've been seeing a lot on these guys' tight end. Um, I see Josh Cribs. I see this John Ross card. Man, I, I mean, if I'm a passer, Tory Holt, I, Tory Holt speaks for himself. Uh, John Ross, Josh Cribs, Michael Vick, best player in the game. Salute to that. I will always support, as my man Postman Jones gifted us a vanilla, my guy. I will always support somebody that uses Michael Vick. So that's a thumbs up for me. Let's look at the abilities. Hot Route Master, Escape Artist, Dashing Dead Eye Identifier. I like it. Um... Now, this is, as I was looking at Clef's team, and Clef also has the high route master. To me, I think, what, like, what routes are you going to put on the field in bunch that you cannot put with just a slot apprentice? You know, what plays are you going to utilize that hot route master for um, that you couldn't just use Tory Holt with, um, Tory Holt with, uh, what you going to call it? Unless you just really wanted Playmaker, Slotomatic, and Post Flag, and still wanted to put them on hot routes, you know? You know? Yeah. But honestly, what it could be is kind of just getting four abilities on Tory Holt. You know, now you don't have to worry about putting putting Slot Apprentice on Tory Holt, so you can use Slotomatic, Playmaker, and Post Flag, you know? Yeah, they're not going to run a trail. Maybe they will. I don't know. I really don't know. But we'll find out. That's another thing to watch. Uh, Post special and cross special on John Ross. I'll be honest. These two receivers are kind of pussy. 
But it, it doesn't matter. That's what's crazy about the game. John Ross is a pussy, right? You look at him and say, man, he doesn't have catching traffic. He doesn't have, he can't play, he can't moss people. But when you over here and you have, you have post specialists and cross specialists, it doesn't matter because he's going to turn into 1991 Jerry Rice and catch every fucking pass, you know? So we'll see exactly how they're going to run it. Uh, excited to see. I, Cribs is the best, still the best cap. Uh, he's good. With ability, yeah. With abilities, he's just a, a goon, you know. But I would, I, I, I love Calvin Johnson. I think he's, I think he's absolutely unreal. Uh, I know it's a, a lot of cap, but if you're spending this much, you know, go all out. Now, when you have this, let's go look at this layout right here. Still more cap on defense, but a lot more cap than the probably a hundred more cap. Well, only probably fifty more cap than Joke. About a hundred more cap than Vote on offense. Defense that that Ed Reed card again, eighty four cap. Mer, Merton Hanks, I absolutely hate. I don't know. First of all, let's look at abilities. Just secure tackling on Ed Reed. That's the only ability. Merton Hanks, I hate. I will never be talked into Merton Hanks being a good card. Adrian Amos, always a solid card in the game. Um, I've seen this Isaiah Simmons, what, 96 speed, absolute dog. Uh, Fred Warner's always been a good card for a long time, really. No, Hanks, I will never be talked into Merton Hanks being good, ever. Uh, then we got Dante Jackson, and we have Tracy Porter. So this is a guy I see... Oh, Troy Palomalo is creeping right here. So these would be slot DBs right here. Okay, okay, okay. 87 Troy, I don't know how fast he is. Uh, Amos, I don't know how fast he is. So definitely more budget guys in the slot than we've seen. Even budget guys out wide. I hate Tracy Porter out wide. Dante Jackson, I kind of, I don't really like Dante Jackson either. D-line is bad. I mean, we see Bosa card, a Bosa card, Dunlap 23 cap. Just You see just the weaknesses of having somebody... And 10 cap, 10 cap in the special team. The weaknesses of having 50, four different abilities on your quarterback, you know. But still has the speed. Still has two good backers. I think that's important. Looks like he's going to be doing the middle or the safeties of middle linebacker as well, as it looks like with the with the left ends and no middle linebackers in the game. Yeah, so we'll have we'll have safeties of middle linebacker for Pavin. Uh it's really the best. Now nah, he'll be all right because he'll have that. He'll have safeties and middle linebacker. He'll have, you know. Yeah, so we'll be interested to see. He has one secure tackler. We'll be interested to see how this fares against Joke and and, and Joke and Volt. It's going to be tough. Now we go to Boog's team. I, I'll i be honest. I've gotten some text messages. Three or four people said, what was Boog's thinking? Now, let's, let's break it down. Offensive line is probably the worst I've seen. Uh, I'm not really a believer in offensive line that much. But you kind of get a feeling for people um, going out there. You, you look at, like, the Kivs and, you know, Wesley and, and those guys that are passing a lot. Like, what's their offensive line look like? I really don't believe in the uh, – I really don't believe offensive line that much, so I'm not mad at it. Um, RG3, uh, you guys know I hate RG3 over Vic, but he likes RG3. I, I don't know what it is. I really didn't talk to Blues about that. I just He told me about his team, what he likes. Um, and I was cool with it, really. Um, I, I, I think Vic, I'm just a Vic fan, so I'm not, don't take my uh, word for it. Barner, no running back. Man, one thing I noticed about, he has no tight end, like none. Like, fuck it, I'm just rocking the 10 cap. Don't know how I feel about it. Um, I, I, like, one thing about, we've played this game this year, right? Like, obviously, you're not going to use your tight end a lot, but Every 15 plays or so, it's nice to get a little 10-yard bullshit play, man. You know, it's nice to get a little bullshit play. You know, that that that. so for me to have no tight end, it's a little bit rough. Uh, once again, that John Ross card, and we'll see his abilities. Playmakers, are, he has none on John Ross. He has a butt-naked John Ross. Oh, he's going to be trash. But we have Torrey Holt with the playmaker, slot of Maddox, slot Apprentice. I mean, Torrey Holt's just going to be tough. Uh, no no post flag elite. Um, nothing like that. So uh, he's not going to catch every corner route. He's going to be tough with playmaker and slot automatic. That combination is super tough. Uh, so if he uses him good with a skateboarder's identifier. Also, no ability to help Robert Griffin throw the ball. No dashing dead eye. No sideline dead eye. No roaming dead eye. Nothing like that. So, And what made me upset about this is that Boogs lost the last tournament. 
like to uh, civil because of overthrows, because of overthrowing the ball out of pocket, because of his quarterback fucking him. He really did. So questionable to uh, go with no ability, but I trust it. I mean, we have 99 overall quarterback. Uh, so then we go ahead on defense. He said he used most of his cap on defense. Um, Calvin, love it. Love Calvin. Once again, we're on middle linebackers, or uh, safeties at middle linebacker here with the left ends at linebacker. Isaiah Simmons, Jerome Baker. Defense is good. Now, I, I tell you, the defense is good. Um, now, we talk about power specialists. Uh, I, I feel like power specialists, you, I feel like if you want to have that versus passers, you got to have it versus everybody. It sucks that he... Uh, it sucks that he has to play the runners, but, I mean, if you're going to win the tournament and you feel like you need that against passers, I'm not mad at him having power specialists. I'm not. Because it goes, it goes to our argument about do you start, do you build your team for the whole tournament or for just your group? You know, I I don't think people people just are happy getting out of the group. Boogs is a guy that's been to, what, 12 live events or whatever. Like, he's not, I just want to get out of the group type of guy. So, for him to go ahead and I'm, I'm power specialist, I'm cool with that, really. Uh, the, the 81 cap Dion, I'd rather have a secure tackler on somebody and have the 65 cap Dion. I, I feel like, what's secure tackler? Six cap? I feel like you can get two secure tacklers and get the 61 cap, 65 cap Dion. Yeah, I would have put secure on Calvin, secure on Ed Reed, man. Yeah, he does have, he has a team for the whole tournament. Uh, I'm cool with, I'm, I'm really not mad at it. D-line, but D-line is ass. This is how I feel. D-line is ass, but... As far as I'm concerned, um, if you have an ability, your D line is geeked, and Frank Clark has an ability. Even a 31 cap, 34 cap has power specialist. It's pretty tough, you know. I, I mean, so I'm cool. I mean, I think he's gonna be fine on defense. He has the best players, really, in the backs, in the back, in the pause back end. But he has the best players, you know. I mean, one no special teams to the party. Um. I don't think I would like no tight end at all. I'm I'm cool, man. I feel like he can make plays. He can make plays with with RG three playmaker and and slotomatic. That's gonna be tough, you know. I feel like he can real. I feel like he can play defense with this team. I would have loved sixty five cap Dion. Both safeties with secure tackler would have been tough, but I feel like he can play defense with this team, man. But that's group. That's group. That is group A. I want predictions, chat. Who, give me one seed and who doesn't make it out. That's what I want to know. One seed and who doesn't make it out? Because for me, oh man, this is tough. Yeah, I, yeah. Bugs on four. Why are y'all just disrespecting Bugs? Like, y'all crazy. See, this is what makes me fucking mad, chat. This is what makes me, because listen, y'all, I could disrespect Bugs. I feel like that's my friend. I could disrespect him all I want. I've earned that right. But you disrespectful motherfuckers can't do that shit. All right? And I feel like you guys have gone way too far with the Bugs disrespect. All right? This man has been to as many live events as anybody. As anybody. And we just over? Why? Because he doesn't have a secure tackler? Is that, is that, is that, he, he doesn't have a secure tackler? Come on, man. Y'all gonna put some respect on my man name, bro. I mean, I don't think Boogs is top five career earnings, though. Let's let's let's, let's take that Honda Boogs back a little bit. Boogs not top five career earnings. Let's let's relax. No, but for real, he got everybody has seven six DBs, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, Boogs is not leaving. Uh, I don't think Volt leaving. I'm not. Is Pavin leave? I, bro, I guess it's easy to pick Boogs as the one to leave because you're not gonna pick against Joke and Volt. Because this is how you feel about... This is, this is how I feel. Joke and Volt aren't losing to both passers. Joke and Volt are beating one of the passers. It's just... It's just it's just, it's impossible to have two good of players like Joke and Volt but that are runners lose to two passers. They might go one and one versus the passers, but they're not going 0-2 versus the passers. So really, one of the passers is going home. And I'm not picking Buzz. So Pavin, my guy, you ain't going to make it out, man. Just had to go that way. I, I feel like Pavin wasn't tested. In the LCQ like D. Croft was, I feel like he wasn't tested. You know what I'm saying, I, 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 I'm not bugs. I'm not picking against bugs. No joke. That's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like because the runners are playing passes, they're guaranteed one win. I really feel like Pavin versus Bugs is for the tour. Pavin versus Bugs is for the group. That's how I feel about it. 
You know what I'm saying? So that's how I feel about it. That's how that's how I think it's gonna go down. And as much as you guys laughed about having a power specialist against runners, he still has to play Pavin. So if he can beat Pavin, I'm saying I feel like that's a t- that's that's tough, man. Buzz got <laughs> yo Joke and Buzz got the same experience, bro. The difference, honestly, the difference between Joke and Buzz is a couple games, a couple games in each tournament, really, really. So that's how I feel. I feel like the whole tournament come down, or the whole group come down to Buzz versus Pavin. And as much as y'all laughed about laughed about Boog's team, he got the team to beat Pavin. Believe that. You know what I'm saying? All right. Now I'm not picking. Listen, yeah, I'm not picking Pavin over Boogs. I be fucked up. I mean, he probably Pavin probably 45 and over his Boogs. But listen, we've been down before. We've been down before. You know what I'm saying? But all right, on the group B, like I said, I I kind of pick, I kind of uh, vote versus joke. I kind of vote or joke. I think gonna be the one seed. It comes down to joke or jokes nasty is better than votes. Uh, human joystick. That's gonna be tough. Ah man. I think I like joke one seed. You know what I'm saying? That's it. Yeah, I, that's how popping. That's how I feel like y'all game is going to be super. Cause honestly, I'm gonna be real. It's tough as shit for passers to beat runners. Can we, like it, we've seen it all year. Like all year, the runner had the runner has beat the passer all year in these big tournaments. All year, and I hate it. I hate it. But it's happened, bro. It's happened. Well, let's move on to Group B. Journey, Journey Yoka, Holka. And it's funny because I, as I looked at drinks, you see like these crews kind of going with the same type of vibe. Obviously, joke, whatever joke, little man gonna do whatever joke do, but it's gonna be like the it's gonna be the, the PG version for sure. And then I, Mills is kind of around there with joke. Then you see you see Drinny and Rage is just like Rage is like the Disney pff, 9 a.m. Saturday cartoon version of Drinny. You know what I'm saying? And and then Henry and Pavin and, and Kiv and Wesley are similar. You got Clef, who's kind of him and Bugs play a lot, but you know they, Clef is kind of a mixture of a lot of people, and then he's Clef, and then you got Noah who's out there. I don't know who Noah kind of like plays with. I don't really know. Uh, like I said, so let's go to Journey's team. We got the betting odds. We got the betting odds for the whole tournament. This is Journey's team. Uh, a lot of cap on offense. This is the highest offensive cap we've seen so far out of the five teams. I think. I don't really remember looking at Pavin's team. 501's a lot on offense. Good offensive lineman. He's got the best right guard in the NFL. Good offensive line all over 20 cap. Evan Ingram's an absolute horse. Any player that I use in Mutt that I see here, I'm, I'm like, he's tough. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? So then we got Marquise Brown, who I'm assuming is fast as hell. I don't I don't think this guy's 99 speed. Is Marquise Brown 99 speed? I know Cribs is. But even though this is a 47 cap Cribs, we don't have a 50 to 50 cap Cribs. I'm saying we don't have a 50 cap Cribs. So is this a slower Cribs? I'm saying John Ross that I've seen. I guess every passer has had this John Ross so far. I'm really not. How is why was I ever using a 50 cap Cribs if there's a 47 cap Cribs that's that's 99 speed? What the fuck? What planet am I on? Eli Manning, I guess this is the new Phillip Rivers. Is this the cheapest quarterback with Hot Route Master? I'll be honest with you. Journey doesn't want to use Hot Route Master ever. I mean, I, I like, but he's versatile enough to be able to use it. He has all this offense on the field. This is a lot of damn offense. Like, this is a lot of offense, chat. It really is. And to have not that much on a quarterback is slotomatic post specialist on John Ross. Post flag elite in and out specialist on Evan Ingram. What could we do with the in and out specialist? Is that like a guaranteed five yards with a little in route or out route? What is the reason to have that on the tight end? I know Journey is going to run and he's going to run a lot of that tight, that tight out of Oakland. What is that? You know what I'm saying? So for me, it's like, what what are you gonna do with that? I'm interested to see that. 
Uh, and just two secure tacklers on his safeties. I like both safeties with secure tacklers. I really like that. I don't really know if they're, uh, once again, another guy that's going to put them at middle linebacker, though. So his safeties might play middle linebacker. Uh, I, I think Journey's defense is really solid. Uh, Daniel Hunter, Samia Rice, both pretty tough. Tracy Porter, uh, Denzel Ward, Marshawn Lattimore, and that Dion we talked about. 99s across the board, chat. Uh, that's... Are, are we really 99? Is this... Everybody's 99 because Ed Reed is 99. I know Calvin's 99. I know... Like, dude, this is 99 across the board. This is like a good-ass team. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I think Journey has put together a good team. 10 cap special teams. Uh, yeah, Journey's put together a good team here, you know? Defensive abilities, he just has secure tackler on Ed Reed and Calvin Johnson. For real, for real. You know? So, uh, yeah, Baker and Isaiah Th Isaiah Simmons, this is this is strong. I, I, I'm a fan. Um, it looks like Eddie Goldman's going to play D tackle in three four, which I mean, sometimes I feel like it's almost better to have a shitty D tackle than a good one. But it looks good. It looks good to me. Are we going with the second best team so far, Chat? Second best team. He should be able to do everything on offense. I don't know. Yeah, I would have had Tucker. I, I don't know. We're going to see the difference in the field goals makes. Mills, let's try what Mills got. Mills got a 10 yapper. I don't know why. Was there ever a 10 cap quarterback? Why Why have we gone to 10 cap quarterback is it, bro? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Calvin really is a dog. Like, why Why are we, we always call a 10 cap quarterback? I guess a fucking 10 cap. No quarterback. His offense was a little bit weird to me. I don't know why I felt it was weird. Um, One, as we look here. He's got jukebox, and he has this secure pass protector, which I guess helps against the inside stuff, which I have not seen on anybody yet. Um, but I guess it helps him block better. Um, and he has it on his guards. One backup tackle uh, and Delaney Walker, a tight end. A little bit different. A little bit, I'm just like, uh, just looking at this, you know what I'm saying? Just kind of feeling it. Kind of feeling, I don't know. A little bit. A little bit different. And Raheem Mostert, I'm, uh, uh, how you guys feel about Raheem Mostert? For all your chaloops, we're going Raheem Mostert. He's not exactly Bo. He's not exactly Chris Johnson. He's not exactly even Gale Sayers. Would you guys put Raheem Mostert in that category? I feel like he was a really good card two months ago. He going to cough it up? And this is one thing. We haven't seen any enforcers on anybody, you know? So... Who's going to hit stick him? You know, I'm be, I am I don't know. I haven't been able to really hit stick, especially a jukeboxer with, uh, you know, without Enforcer, without the computer doing it. I mean, I haven't really. We'll see. But then once we go, this is what I talked about with Joke. He has that extra Franco Harris to be able to hand the ball off to. So it'd be rare to see Mills run with a shitty tired Raheem Mostert, you know. Is this carrying that bad? You know, is it, I really don't know if this card is. I don't. I'm just saying. Would you guys trust this card with the Chaloops for Madden Bowl? That's all. He's the only one with this card. He's he's not going to pass ever. So this guy's going to get 20 to 25 carries. You know. I don't think he. But when you're on jukebox, you're not going on conservative. You know, you're jukeboxing holes. And this goes back to like the secure tag. Do you guys like secure tackler versus jukebox? You know, I feel like Secure Tackle can still get yuked, you know. But I feel like Jukebox, once they put the patch in where you couldn't juke out the user, I feel like Jukebox kind of, like, took a big hit. And we didn't really see it that much anymore. Because if you guys remember, like, before that patch, I want to say clubs. Like, bro, Jukebox was ridiculous. And I feel like they patched, they when they did the patch where you could click on it and don't get juked. Oh. You know. Now, Henry, let me ask, like, what the, when you made your team, Henry, did you think group first? Was group the main priority or was the whole tournament the main priority? You know? Once again, another guy with middle linebackers, a middle line, or, you know, safety is a middle linebacker. Taylor Mays, Calvin Johnson, Ed Reed, Troy P. That's some beef, boys. Mo, that's what I was talking about with, with, uh, with Boogs. They laughed at them all. You didn't get people to get out your group, bro. You got to be able to beat everybody. 
And I told him, Bugs is not a guy that's cool with just getting out the group. He's been to so many live events, been out of so many groups. That's not the goal. Franco, when, you, when you're just a runner, one thing that we'll see with Volt, and Volt does a better job than anybody at it, is keeping a running back fresh. When you're only a runner, I've always thought runners should have two people they can hand the ball to. Just rotate them in and out. Clef for sure. That's how I feel like Bugs kind of got that. I'm saying I think they're cool. But this is Calvin Taylor Mays, Troy P, Ed Reed. Once again, with this Dion, I'm not. I, I, Y'all got me fucked up with it. I, Denzel Ward, I, I think Denzel Ward's an animal. Um, Dion, he's got full Frank Clark. Uh, full Frank Clark with the power specialist. Secure tackler on both his safeties. This, this honestly, for me, this is probably the best defense we've seen, chat. I feel like this is between Calvin Johnson, Taylor Mays, Troy P, Ed Reed, Dion and Ward, Full Peppers, Frank Clark with Power Specialist, Simeon Rice, 96. These two middle linebackers, secure tackler on both of these safeties. This is like, this is tough. This is the best defense we have seen. He has Big Vane Zane. He has the punter, a little bit better punter. So he's ready to, <laughs> he's ready to boot that bitch. Three and out is cool. You know what I'm saying? I feel like this is tough. Yeah, I do feel like the power special is a little rough. I don't know how Mills is going to play defense. I don't know if he's still uh four th- or three four bear. I seen last time I seen Mills play, he was rocking some five two. But you're right, Mills is a blitz eight nine type of guy every rip. So uh we'll see. We'll see if he mixes some stuff up. Uh we'll see the group. But this team, I mean, this team, I got I gotta say, only 339 cap on offense. So not a lot of cap on the offense. 806 cap on defense, man. You know. So that that that's a tough team, honestly. This is a tough team. Uh, but he's going to play Kib. He's going to play Mo. Going to play Drinny. Drinny's got a lot of offense. Mills has a lot of defense. Uh, this is tough. Let's see Kiv. Kiv is a person you click on when you see this list. Uh, Kiv is one of the first names you click on. Let's take a look at his team. Let's see what he thought was going to pop. Once again, I judge I judge on whether or not offensive line matters by what people like Kiv have on their offensive line. Uh, not much. More than Boogs, 20, 20 cap tackles, or a little bit over 20. Uh, 20 cap center, more than Boogs, but still not crazy. I do think this is a good offensive line. Once again, this 30 cap Winslow, I've seen this card a lot. The opposite of Boogs team, you got a tight end that can actually maybe take a flat route for five yards. Maybe he can take an out route for 10 yards. Maybe he can break a tackle. Maybe stiff arm and fall forward, you know. Uh, and we go with Tory Holt. This is, is this full, full? Is this big dick Tory right here? Is this 99, 92 cap? I like it. Robin Griffin, sideline, dead eye. That's something I saw that Kiv, and obviously if Kiv has, Wesley's going to have it. Sideline, dead eye, instead of a roaming dead eye or a dashing dead eye. Um, escape artist, gunslinger, identifier. Uh, once again, just with the slot apprentice, doesn't need a lot of hot routes. Slotomatic, streak specialist, playmaker. No post flag on Tory Holt, but uh, streak specialist, post specialist, cross specialist on, on John Ross. Just a lot of cap on offense. Uh, 494 cap on offense. Is this somebody have 501? I think might have been Journey to have 501 on offense, but it's a lot of cap on offense. Once again, going RG3 over Vic. Not a fan. But, you know, these guys believe in the RG3. Um, I would have took Vic. I would have took Vic for sure. Uh, Tory Holt, full Tory, Josh Cribbs, John Ross. Like I said, when you, obviously, uh, Josh Cribbs is not going to hold on to the ball. But, you know, when you have these abilities on John Ross, he's going to be a dog. So, offense looks strong. Uh, there we go. And Fred, once again, another guy. I think everybody at this point has had middle linebackers play or safeties playing middle linebacker. Uh, Jair Alexander, first player with the first guy we've seen with this card. Justin Reed, a 50 cap. 61 Marlon Humphrey, I believe is one point speed lower. So this this secondary is, ah, I, I love Taylor Mays always, but 50 cap Justin Reed, uh, I believe would probably play slot for him in 146 or against a passer and then middle linebacker when he's in 3-4. Uh, Amos, I don't know how fast he is. Let's see what abilities he got on defense. Just secure tackler on Taylor Mays. Amos, Peppers, Dunlap, 19 cap Linval. Yeah, a little bit, but little bit makeshift defense, honestly. A little bit makeshift. 10 cap special teams. 
And we'll see if we make it work. Kiv has enough offense, though, man, to really make this work. He has enough. I mean, he's got he's got enough offense. You know, no running back, but has a tight end. He's probably going to get the ball to the tight end as well in the near. Kevin Winslow is probably going to run fullback for him as well. You know, so that's tough. That's definitely uh, solid all the way around. I mean, defense, one of the weaker defenses we've seen, but also one of the cheapest caps defense under 600. Tough for Kiv. We got Mo. Let's see what Mo got. Mo's team looking a little bit like Journey's team, except no abilities on the quarterback. Uh, <clears throat> probably the only player that has a quarterback without abilities. You know, you, I, I, you know, a butt naked quarterback that can actually pass. Uh, we know Mo doesn't. I mean, he's not going to want to pass. He's in the Oakland tour, uh, but he has the tools to pass. You know, uh, post specialist on Evan Ingram, uh, John Ross, a lot of Maddox. So shit. I mean, we'll see what he does. What he? I don't. I really don't know. Mo, like that's what I'm saying. I really, I really have no idea what offense or what he wants to do. I feel like Mo in Oakland is like, okay, there's 16 different formations I might try out here. Uh, but John Ross, once again, Cribs, Marquise Brown, not the best wide receivers. None of, oh, John Ross has Slotomatic, which means he'll catch everything under 10 yards and anything playmaker. Gale Sayers, Mo is in the chat. Mo, this is my question. Why we try, why we pick Gale Sayers? We've seen him on Joke's team. Uh, I believe Drenny has him too. Why? I mean, he's Joe, Joe hasn't been in here. Drenny isn't in here. Mo, why? Why Gale? That, that's a question. And Aaron Rodgers. I mean, if you're going to have a butt naked quarterback, Aaron Rodgers has been pretty much the consensus of um, the consensus of you know a quarterback without abilities because he has a great release and all good attributes and everything. Nine half speed and falls forward. Gale. That's what I'm saying. Why? I don't know why we go Raheem Mostert. I probably would have went Gail. I see Gail like, I mean, I'm not stupid. If, if I see four different people I think are good use a player, he's probably pretty tough. I mean, it can't it can't be strong close because you have three wide receivers. Unless can you can you get a wide receiver in the backfield still like a wide receiver fullback? Be pretty tough. Gail doesn't cough it up. Okay. All right. So if you can put like Josh Cribbs at fullback, yeah, that'd be tough. <clears throat> no, he's got a couple. He's got post specialists on Evan Ingram, mostly for that probably that post play. That's what it screams to me, uh, that post play out of strong close. That's all he's already on a post. John Ross, slot matic tough. Um, then defense. I mean, when you have how much cap on offense? 516. This is the, the this is the highest cap on offense that we've seen. Chat. This is the highest cap. You know what I'm saying? This is the highest cap that we have seen on offense, you know, and so we shall see how it works. Uh, Ingram, Josh Chris, Marquise Brown, John Ross. Oh, uh, but all right. Well, I mean, still a high amount of cap. I don't care if it doesn't cap account for ability. Shit, that's <laughs> that's a lot of cap. Without abilities, I think so. Yeah. Without abilities, without abilities, just players, just players. This is just players that I saw over here. So Kiv did have like three hundred in abilities. Yeah, yeah, without abilities. I, that's why I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't read this shit. You know, I'm just talking. I just look over here. But this is a lot of cap on offense, just players. Not a lot of abilities, only two offense. I mean, identified three offensive abilities. So then defense, I mean, Amos. Uh, I haven't used Amos at all this year. I, I think his card is always really good in Madden. No, not great, but really good. Amos has always been like a, a solid player. Mays speaks for himself. Dante Jackson, we see this Jair Alexander, Humphrey, Tracy Porter, just budget guys that are kind of fast. D line, I mean, we got Clowney, Clowney and Lawrence Taylor. That's a, that's a W. Golden ticket, Troy P. I mean, listen, we shall see. Hanks is definitely ass. Hanks, I already talked about Ed, Hanks being ass, bro. I don't like Palomalu, but Palomalu, a middle linebacker, I could see him being super tough. I didn't like Palomalu's safety. But Mo promised me he's gonna make plays. So I I I can't wait. Can't wait to watch Mo play with Troy Pop. Cause I'll tell you this, Mo like Mo will never like stand out like oh I, like I offensively he's gonna be a great player to watch. 
Mo probably has the best user on defense still in Madden, you know, like to watch. So to have him with Troy P, it might be pretty tough. Might be pretty glitchy. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Uh, what primary defense he runs, I have no idea. I'm one of the few guys we see without safeties at middle linebacker. A straight three middle linebackers, four linebackers. Uh, and what, 60 Bs, yeah. And Vita Vea. So we'll see. Nickel normal? I, 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 that's what my man Kuzi with the sub. I have been wanting to tell you guys, nickel normal for me, seriously. I hate nickel normal uh, defense. Oh, yeah, I did look at, I did see this. I saw this. Two edge threat elites. Yeah, I saw, we saw this with D. Croft. Now, I don't know if watching D. Croft dominate really uh, affected Mo's decision to make this. I don't know when you guys had to put your team in. But, yeah, that's, this is, that's, I, I wouldn't want to play that, you know. You know. You know. So we'll see. I, I literally cannot wait to watch these guys play. I, I really can't. I feel like I feel like a herb how much I'm hyped to watch these guys play Madden. Um Justin Tucker, a little bit of special teams. You gotta respect the man that brings a little bit of special teams. I, I respect it. You know? I respect it. A little bit of special teams, all three phases, bro. You gotta be prepared for all situations. I like that. I like Mo. I like Mo. I like Mo. Now, all right, Group B predictions. What we doing? Group B predictions. We talked about Mills' team. Best defense we've seen. Oh, whose team is this? Is this Mills? No, this is Kiv's team. We talked about Mills having the best defense we've seen. I agree with that. Best defense is Mills. I, I, I really don't think Mills is going to get it done on, on offense. I really don't. I think Raheem kind of costs up the bread for him. I don't know. I think Mo's a fighter. Kiv has been good all year, but fighting the passing battle. But he, oh man, something about Mills. I I can't, I can't buy into the Mills train. I can't, cause I feel like he's not. He's just. I I don't know. I can't buy into the Mills train. You know what I'm saying? And, and I, bro, Journey's just Journey. Journey's a player like I. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, Journey, bro, Mo, you know Journey. I know Mo. I know you. You think Journey's super hell? Are you? I feel like Mo's been like the biggest Journey fan since Journey's been tough. But Mills, I can't buy the Mills train. I don't. I don't know why I can't buy the Mills train. Cause part of me, when I think about Mills, I think about how he all. Bro, I think about being at live events with Mills and hearing him talk about how he the best player ever, bro. Mills the type, you know, you all watch Madden games with people, right? You will sit there and watch a Madden game with Mills, and he will tell you the entire time how he would, he would, I'd have no problem with this. I'd stop this. I'd do this. I'd do that. This, this, this shit won't pop me. So when I think about Mills playing, I think about that's, like, that's, like, that's what I think of when I think about Mills. So for me, it's like, bro, like... Am I going to pick Mills? I really can't buy in the Mills. I really can't. You know? Long hair, who you telling? I haven't even looked at what Jesse is type. Tell my man Poison right there. My man Poison subbed and said he's going to make it out with that D. Yeah, you, oh, y'all getting popped by that. He definitely that type. Y'all getting popped by that. So, like I said, uh... Kiv, can't wait to watch him play. Uh, I, I think as much as we look at this, as much as offense he has, I, hear me wrong, I think Madden 20 is tough to pass the ball. I, uh, I I just, I really do think it's tough. As geeked as the abilities are and they never drop a pass, I do think it's tough to pass the ball against somebody like, I, I do think it's tough. So I think Kiv, but I, I guess I'll pick Kiv, Kiv be the one seed. I think Mills out of here. I think Mo going Mo to Mo fight versus one of these dudes. <clears throat> I don't know. I, I another group I really can't, really can't, uh, I really can't you know, wait to watch, honestly. And then we go group C. Let's see, man. Scheme is another guy that I feel like be on his own island making teams. So he's another guy like, what the hell? Like, he really, scheming is a good name because, like, nobody knows what the fuck he going to do. And he popped up in the clubs and really made a run. So let's look at his team. 
First thing I see, offensive line is Boogs type of offensive line, maybe a little bit better. Um, Hot Route Master Escape Bars identifier dashing dead eye on Michael Vick. Baltimore Ravens playbook with Hot Route Master. What does that scream to you guys? Does that tell you anything with the Baltimore Ravens playbook? Um, the only thing I think about Baltimore Ravens is bunch with clear out. That's all I think about. RPOs. You know, like what? Pistol bunch? Yeah, it's like... I, I, I thought, bro, first of all, Michael Vick is a W. Chris Johnson having a bow bow run back is cool. I feel like you're not going to RPO your life away with a 33 cap running back. Um, John Ross, everybody has this John Ross. In specialist, slant specialist. What the fuck is that? Maybe it might be. Maybe he might be doing RPOs and throw the slant. Maybe that's glitchy. Maybe RPO to the slant specialist is undefeated. Like, is that is that like RPO specialist to the slant specialist? Oh, y'all laughing. Y'all laughing at Scheming, bro. He had, if Scheming actually stuck to the fucking blast like Joke did, bro, he could have won that whole tournament the last tournament. Honestly. Just saying. Just saying. He came out, he had the blast out there early. He really did, honestly. And the Juice Jack obviously will probably play tight end. And I, this card, this is really my Mutt card. I have this card on Mutt for, on, I, and I don't know why he has this guy. It's got to be a better 31 cat fullback. Uh, this dude, I, he, he saw, I don't even, uh, bro, I don't know. Bro, RPO to the slant specialist might be really, really tough. Um, so I'm going to go defense. No abilities on defense. Another person, uh, safety's playing middle linebacker, Troy P., Ed Reed, Rod Woodson, uh, Denzel Ward, Dante Jackson, Pat Pete. Now, I mean, Pat, having Pat Pete is a super W. I mean, super W. Now, I mean, all 20 cap D linemen here. There's still a 10 cap on the field. No, no, there's not. Ed Reed. Rod Woodson, what's... what's? I mean, having Pat Pete, I'm not mad at the defense. You know, Ed Reed, we've seen everybody with him. Dante Jackson, Denzel Ward. I mean, 39 cap, Dante Jackson's kind of ass. We'll see. Little bit of love to the special teams with Justin Tucker. Not mad at it. I'm really not that mad at it, honestly. So what do you guys, do you guys hate this team? Do you guys like it? Where's the, I mean, Michael Vick for me is always a W. How raw master. Calvin Johnson, somebody has to tell me that's a W. I think this is the first team we've seen with Calvin Johnson. Have you guys said, uh, look, have you guys said nobody else has had Calvin Johnson? I think he's an absolute W. Yeah, I, I really think Calvin Johnson's absolutely un, un, I think Calvin Johnson's, uh, yeah, like, I think he's a dog. Like, a dog beyond. Like, he can literally just win you a game. Like, Calvin Johnson can win you a game. Exactly, fo. He's up to something, bro. It might be bullshit. Let's know that. He, it might be bullshit, but it could be tough. And I'm willing to wait and see. Jay, I'm, we're going to be streamed up. We'll see what we talk about and everything. A little bit of special teams. Patrick Peterson on defense is a W. Denzel Ward and Patrick Peterson, I mean, that's super W both ways around. So that's cool. Scheme. And then we go with Noah, who's another 10-cap quarterback guy. Uh, obviously a guy that, that won the belt last tournament we had from running eye tight. Uh, and he has Joe Staley here. 5-0 lineman or 6-0 lineman. 12 cap, Shaughnessy, 14 cap, Vance McDonald, uh, Bo Jackson. And we're going to see the human joystick on Bo Jackson as well. <laughs> Yo, why you make me redeem 20K points to ask you why you change your name? <laughs> Yo, Jesse's such an L tonight. I got a little fullback. Yeah, we'll see what they're going to run. Obviously, human joystick on Noah. The one thing about Noah, I will give him this much credit. I mean, he had a lot of stick in the Madden, the Madden challenge, bro. Both on offense and defense, uh, he looked good. I mean, on in both defense on and offense, power specials on Frank Clark, Detroit Palmolo with lurker and secure tackler, and we look at the defense. Let's look at the players over here. Not that much cap. Look at the defense. 
We got two bubble outside linebackers, two goon middle linebackers, the best middle linebacker in Palomalu, Justin Reed, Ed Reed, Denzel, Lattimore, uh, Marlon Humphrey, Deion Sanders, Frank Clark, power specialist. I mean, Big Vane Zane and Johnny Hecker. Probably the most cap we've seen to the special teams, Noah. You know? Yeah, Frank Clark versus Lurker. Yeah, so this is this is, I feel like this is a solid defense. Who is gonna be better with human joystick bow? Is it gonna be Noah or is it gonna be Volt? Now as we go back, as we look at Volt, as we go back to Schema's team, does he have secure tacklers? Does he have anybody that's gonna I think no cap on defense? God bless him stopping uh <laughs> Bo Jackson with human joystick. And we go with Clef. Clef the God. What's he got over here? Mike Vick. Gotta be a fan. Big W for Mike Vick. You know what I'm saying? Big W for Mike Vick. Clef a little bit better on the offensive or the, the center. Uh has escape artist agile extender identifier. So no gunslinger. I know I know Clef has always been a big gunslinger guy this year. Hot route master, escape artist, agile extender. I've never been a fan of agile extender. I know when you play against it, it sucks when they keep breaking that sack. I've always felt like in Madden, it's impossible to make a play after you break a sack. The the likelihood of you making a play down the field when you break a sack is not that that high. You know, you, you know what I'm saying? Um, but uh, for they like using it. Um, so we'll see how it works. Once again, like Boogs, no ability to help him pass the ball. No sideline dead eye, no roaming dead eye, no dashing dead eye. You have a golden tick quarterback, you're going to rely on him. But we know the way the game plays. If you don't have those abilities, you're going to fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Do you know? Niner, please stop talking to me. You're right. I haven't been watching Russ in regs. I haven't been watching people play fucking regs with Russell. I haven't been watching it. You're right. My bad. Fucking bro. Yo, Niner came in the chat and instantly like. I want you guys to count how many times a person breaks a sack and then makes a positive play of over 10 yards. All right? That's what I want to see. Give me a percentage of plays where a person breaks sack then makes a positive play of 10 plus yards. What is the percentage? That's all I want to know. Could get a TD from it. I could get a TD from fucking anything. You're right. You could. I just want the odds. Give me percentage. Give me percentage of plays that would break a sack makes a 10 yard plus plus play. I'm not I'm not mad at the I'm not mad at putting that. I'm not mad at it being tough. I'm I'm just I'm just Saying I just I have never believed in it, honestly. You know, I, I have never really believed in it, you know, being a good offense, really. You know what I'm saying? So we shall see not a good offense, but something to rely on. I, I have never been that way, you know. So we'll see. We'll see how it works. Uh that's what I'm saying. Like, cause you, you say you break the sack on the you break the sack on the DB, right? It's like one, let's be real. The DB is still on the fucking ground. Like, he didn't make the sack, but his little worm ass is still on the ground. So he's going to be scrawling around trying to get up. Ah! Oh, so he might grab you or might get up fast. He might be, I mean, <laughs> who knows who the hell. He jumps up like Jackie Chan in a kung fu movie and he tackles you again. One. Or, by the time you break that sack, boom, my man's getting shedded. Boom. Or, by the time you break that sack, now whoever's user in has seen who's open and he runs to him. Now, this animation on the sack is going to be a little bit different. It's going to take two seconds rather than one second. I've just, I've never been a fan of that shit being a reliable thing on offense. It could be a cool thing. It could be a cool thing. It can be an effective thing. But I just don't think it's something to rely on. That's all I'm saying. Uh, once again, with the Kellen Winslow for Cleft to God, uh, I believe Kiv had this, a couple of a bunch guys. So this is a solid card. That's what I'm telling me. If, if a bunch of people I think are good had the card, he must be pretty good. You know what I'm saying? So John Ross, Tory Holt, Josh Cribbs. This is has been pretty much a standard combo for every passer. Um, 
I don't know if we've seen a year. Have we seen a year where this the the, the same three wide receivers are kind of it, Chet? Like, I don't think I've ever seen a year where it's like this fucking. Like, dude, <laughs> like, am I tripping? I feel like this is the most has ever been. Like, these everybody has these three receivers. Shit. But Mike Vick says super W always. Four abilities on a quarterback, W. Defense, another guy with safeties and middle linebackers. Um, you know. Have we seen no Moss, no Julio, no nothing. Merton sucks. I, I don't know why Clef, I mean... God bless him, but this card sucks. I had this card, you'll I, like I said, I said it when I first got it, you'll never talk me into this card being good. Look at his card art just looks shitty. His card art just looks shitty. It just looks ass, man. Uh Adrian Amos, we talked about him earlier. Ed Reed, tough. Uh Simmons and Jerome Baker, dogs. You will never like this this card will never like no, nah, I'm cool. Just nah, I'm just cool. I'm just cool off him, bro. I'm cool off him. Marshawn Lattimore, Denzel Ward, Dogs, Tracy Porter, I'm cool off him too. But for 61 cap, you can't be mad at it. Uh, Bosa, I don't know. Do we have no D-line, Kim, out here? Clefford? No D-line. No, just secure tackle on Ed Reed. Okay. Pass rush looks super ass. I mean, is this really Yannick Ngakwe and Bosa? Their pass rush looks super ass. Clefford? Yeah, this is. I want to know why everyone uses Trace Porter because he's fast and he's low cap. More than come on, bro. I mean, I, I honestly think Merton Hanks being tall helps him tackling more than his ability. <laughs> I feel like stats, bro. I feel like attributes. Oh, I really feel like they don't mean dick this year. Attributes. I, I'm like Dave. No special teams. Clefford. No spe No special. No money in the special teams, man. Ah, got a question. No money in the special teams, but. At the end of the day, not the best player in the game on offense. So, then we go with Little Man. Little Man is going to be the Sunday morning cartoon version of Joke. Uh, yep. <laughs> this, is this the exact same team? Is this just the exact same team? Nah, they do something cute like, I want Von Miller. I want Von Miller instead of Clowney. So, it make it seem like it's his own team. Right? <laughs> I want I got Von Miller instead of Clowney. Got clowny. I got Von Miller. I like the way he roughs. <laughs> Big Vein Zane. Tress Way. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. I mean, these guys, uh, good defense, man. I mean, dude. Let's see what abilities he want defense. Power move specialist. Secure tackler. Literally the same same thing as, as Joke, really. Um, So let's let's talk about... Let's talk about uh, Group C. Who we got as the one seed? Who we got as the out of the group? Who we got out of here and who we got as the one seed? Clef is the one seed for me. Out of here. Oh, man. I, it's hard to pick one scheme because this is how I feel about scheming. He either going to be tough or ass. Like, we know what little man is going to be, right? We know what little man is going to be. We know what Clef going to be. We know Little Man. We already know those two players. Noah and Schema are wild cards for me. We haven't seen Noah in any other tournament other than D.C., which he won. And Schema is either ass or tough. You know? I don't think Little Man gets knocked out the group. I think he, I think he's going to be too tough to beat. You know? Oh, man. Let me take a look at Noah's defense again before I say he's not going to make it out. Mm -hmm. No, his defense looks pretty tough looking at it. And he got power specialist. Yeah, his defense looks pretty tough. I don't know. Maybe a little more. Oh, man. Noah, you guys like Noah to be out scheming out? It's Because I feel like scheming could be ass or he could be tough. I kind of know what I'm getting with Noah, man. Man. Yeah, I think I I, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, 
Oh, Lowry's still weird that Skimbo, is it weird that I'm not fucking here? Fuck a Skimbo, bro. Damn. Is it weird that, that I'm not here? You know what I'm saying? Shit. Wow, is it weird that problem not here? Damn. You feel me? Shit. No, I think, uh, ah, man, it's between, little man could be out too. I don't, I can't call it, bro. I can't call it, bro. It's hard for me to call this. Because I feel like everything I call been wrong anyway. Clef could be out too, bro. Who fucking knows, bro? Facts, Huey. Hot sauce challenge coming in soon. I've tried all the hot sauces on the low. Kind of wanted to cancel it. I kind of wanted to cancel the hot sauce challenge because I tried all them shits on the low. Whew. But uh, I'm going to pick Clef number one. I'm going to pick... Uh, let's play Scheming. Probably not going to make it. I think Noah going to be tough. Scheming team look a little goofy. Uh, could he strike gold twice in one year? Come out with the blast and come out with something new this time? I don't know, man. Ah, oh, man. And he got Pat Pete. I can't pick, man. Little man, you out, bro. Clef number one, see, little man, you out, bro. PG version of joke don't get it done. You not a runner, little man, bro. You got you want to run the bunch, man. I don't. That's a tough group, honestly. That's a tough little group. But uh, group D, Henry Wesley Ray's D Croft. Let's see Henry's team. Now, uh, Josh Allen, for me, is an automatic L. Escape artist, gunslinger, identifier, conductor. Conductor. Yeah, I can't go against Pat. Little man out. I can't. I feel like I don't want to go against. Uh, I don't want to go against. Um, I don't want to against Noah. I don't think Noah can get out. Conductor. That's uh, we're West Coast. Uh, obviously, you know now you can do your pass protection. You can do one hot route and snap the ball. Maybe no, uh, he likes conductor. Maybe he's gonna be quick snapping the shit out of the ball with two different hot routes. First person we've seen use conductor all year, so that's definitely gonna be different. Uh, almost looks like the same amount of offensive abilities that uh, Kiv had, except he doesn't have a big dick Tory Holt. Once again, Josh Cribbs, Tory Holt, John Ross. This is actually, I, I, I will tell you, this is the most, most we've seen the same three receivers for anybody. Even bunch guys. Like, sometimes bunch guys will have a preference, but they have Ross, Holt, and Cribbs on every team is ugh, ass. Kellen Winslow again. You know. Oh, Henry doesn't know the conductor glitch. Niner knows the conductor glitch. Niner, you add so much to the show, man. I appreciate you, bro. All right. Um, defense. Uh, Taylor May is W. Let's see defensive abilities for Henry. Just just secure tackler on the safety. Never mad at that. Uh, Shazier and Isaiah Simmons, absolute dogs. We're going to have safeties at middle linebacker. Um, I see he doesn't have safeties, though. He has all corners. Who is going to play middle linebacker? Is it just going to be one safety at middle linebacker for him? As we see a 36 cap peppers and a 34 cap green. Uh, just weird that these aren't power-ups. Um, I'm assuming he can still have a double sprinter. I guess he has so many corners that it doesn't matter that much. I don't know why you would use these guys instead of power-up versions of them to get Sprinter and not have to waste this four cap right here. Interesting. You know what I mean, chat? Like, you could have saved four cap by using a power-up version of these dudes, but he chose to go this way. One one person uh, trying that. You know. Special teams. A punter, but no kicker. Interesting. First we've seen of that. We've seen kicker, no punter. We haven't seen punter, no kicker. They're just faster. They're just a little bit faster. Oh, they're really fast? I know they're, really, they're that much faster. All right, well, I guess it's worth it to use these two casts for sprinters down here. Yeah, cool. We'll see how it works, man. You know. Punter, no kicker is kind of wild. Uh, We'll see. What do we think, chat? Yeah. I feel like teams are similar, bro. I really do. Everybody's like, does this year suck or something? I feel like it's just, like, if you're a passer, you have this team. If you're a runner, you have this team. 
All right, who's that? Who is this? Wesley. I mean, huge W right off the bat. Big Dick Tory Holt and the best quarterback in the game. Gunslinger identifier, escape artist, sideline dead eye. Do we have the same exact team as Kiv? Or, we, or did you change one person like little man did? 88 speed Dawkins. There he is. Okay, 88 overall Dawkins. Kiv did not have that player. Okay, there's your change. Yeah, abilities are making teams the same, for real. Abilities are kind of fucking up salary cap a little bit. No special teams, Wesley. I, this is questionable here. Questionable, no special teams. You know what I'm saying? Sideline dead eye. That's what that's what Kiv and Wesley are on. I don't know if Pavin has that. I don't know if Henry has that. Did Henry have that? As Henry bought a No, he doesn't have any any ability for passing. Questionable. You know, so we'll see. But anytime you have Vic, you get a W from me. I said teams are really similar right now, man. Yeah, we're going to Rage. Who is the Saturday morning cartoon version of Journey? Um, same looks like the same exact team as Journey. Is this the same team as Journey? I don't really know. Looks like it. Lattimore, Denzel Ward, Tracy Porter, Ed Reed, Calvin Johnson. Yeah. A 94 center. So what do you think? That's what I'm saying. Do you think these guys are strong close? I can't wait to watch what these kids do, bro. Once again, I mean, Daniel Carlson, Levin Cap, a little bit of special teams. He do a little bit of salt in the special teams platter. You know what I'm saying? He do a little bit of salt in the special teams platter. Yeah, Jansen, Jansen not playing. D. Croft, the guy we saw just pop off. Switch the team up a little bit. I guess, and here we go talking about he had the double edge threats for his boys, either Fancy or D. Croft. Uh, or he would have played Justin. I guess he would have been cool with them guys too. This one, first guy we've seen with inside stuff and has it on Jerome Baker. Uh, power specialist on Frank Clark, secure tackler on Ed Reed, Ryan Jansen. He, he likes that abilities on the center. It's worked really well for him. Uh, one slot apprentice on John Ross, escape artist identifier, fearless. First person I've seen, first person I've seen use fearless. Uh, is fearless no no uh, quick pressure and accurate? Is that what that is? Might be tough. You know, as we see a little bit of a little bit of O line here. Um, obviously, D Croft is rocking the um, Gung U trip, so he has a tight end. All right, running back at tight end. So Raheem Mostert will probably play tight end for him. Chris Johnson, John Ross, Marquise Brown, Tyreek Hill. Um, see, that's what we're talking about. He has Tyreek Hill, but why have Tyreek Hill when you can have the 50 cap John or uh, Josh Cribs? That's pretty much where we're getting. Maybe deep route running Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill has always been really good at Madden, but you see, everybody else has Cribs, but he chose to go Tyreek Hill. So, golf shirt ability will be activated. You know what I'm saying? So we have, then we have, so offense looks pretty strong. I mean, has the two player, two running backs, three fast wide receivers. We'll see how it goes. No catching abilities. We'll see how it plays into it. I mean, and what, the 33 cap Baker, we, this is some weird cards, bro. Some really weird cards. First person we've seen with a lot of these dudes, uh, Shaquem Griffin, 85 overall, still has this Brandon Wilson. I mean, that's got to be a L. What the hell? Uh, still Lattimore, Denzel Ward, Tracy Porter, Ed Reed, uh, Frank Clark, Daniel Hunter. Only one of these guys has power specialist, Frank Clark. Um, Brandon Wilson's a L. I don't know. Touche, there he is. What's up, buddy? There he is. Touche. And speaking of devil, bro, I got the Touche bag hoodie on. See? Good timing, my guy. What's the word in the first-person shooter streets? 
Now, you know, something like they told me this is how you get the e-girls, you know. Touche is a legend, man. If you're not following Touche, Touche is probably the only streamer I legit like watch. Like, oh shit, is Touche streaming? Click it and watch him play some games. You know what I'm saying? But he's a glitch, so make sure y'all follow my man. Um, but like I said, bad to this team. Uh, Brandon Wilson's an L. Uh, other than that, I mean, it looks pretty solid. Special teams, no, he sprinkled no salt into the special team. No salt into the special team uh, pot right there. You know what I'm saying? No salt in the special teams. Disappointed in that. But uh, Shaquem Griffin, Shazier, Baker. Uh, we'll see what he uses this night, this Baker with inside stuff on. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Brandon Wilson's not good. Brandon Wilson was good in whenever the hell he came out. He was tough. That card is obviously it's not going to do much for him. It's not going to play most of the time. Probably just a slot DB. Or that's all you know what I'm saying. He's just not. He's not a good card. Probably the worst card in the whole thing. I'm on a two stream. Two is a legend, man. But anyway, what do we like for this? What you call it for this group? Who wins? Who is out? That's my question. For me, I gotta go with my man Wesley. Y'all have never heard me praise Wesley ever. But I gotta go with Wesley. I gotta praise him. I got I gotta take him as the number one seed in this group. Has Michael Vick, has the confidence. I'm going Wesley. Are we picking Rage to every, Rage is the easy person to you know what I'm saying? Rage is the easy person, you know what I'm saying, to uh be knocked out. Yeah, I guess Rage. I mean, Rage is just an easy punching bag. But I think it's kind of a, it's kind of like, it's a re raise 3 and 0 crit. You don't believe that. I like Wesley. I like Wesley. I, I think this, I think Wesley makes a run this tournament, man. I really do. Uh, once he went Vic, I was convinced, man. D. Croft out. I think D. Croft, I don't know. Yeah, I, I do like Wesley, though, honestly. You know what I'm saying? And. Henry number one. Uh yeah, let's go. I do like I do like Wesley. I guess I'll go with Rage going out though. I mean Rage is the easy pick to get out. We saw D Croft play really well in L C Q. Henry's been real good. I uh, I guess in the first tournament he won he did pretty good in clubs. Uh Rage. It's hard to pick Rage, bro. I, I yeah I, I mean I I like I, I mean I don't care what rage, I really don't care what is it I I would still pick West I still pick Wesley over him I I don't know, that's all. You know what I'm saying my man Denny Donuts with that tier one, my guy Henny it up. But anyway I, I'm not arguing on who had better you I just think well, I, I I'm picking Wesley make a little run, you know. I feel like I feel like it's time Wesley made a little run. I mean, like I'm feeling like a Final Four Wesley right now. That's how I'm feeling. I'm I'm I'm, I'm feeling a Final Four Wesley. That brings me. Let's talk about the odds right now because we did predictions. We did the roster breakdown. You know what I'm saying? Let's talk about the odds for the whole tournament, chat. Give me your number one. Uh, give me number one, uh, number one favorite to win the belt. Number one favorite. Right, there's no bracket yet. We have to wait till the end of group play. Number one favorite. You know what I'm saying? We got joke. We got a vote. Vote or Clef. Mills is not the favorite. Merle vote. Dranny. Joke Clef. Okay. D. Crawl favorite. Okay. Okay, Joke is uh, Joke is uh, Joke is probably top top four honestly. Clef. Okay, let me give you guys unanimously given to the podcast. We're the official odds for the tournament, boys. All right, the official odds for the tournament. Boom. As we look back at this, these are the official odds for the tournament right here. Boom. The odds to win Madden Bowl, Madden 20 to Madden Bowl. Volterax as the favorite. I feel like salary cap, 
He breezed through club championship. We got Volterax as the favorite. We got Clef the God coming up second with a plus 300. Drenny third, plus 400. Henrock with the plus 425. I think that's a little high for Henrock. A little bit high. Young Kiv, 475. Joke down there with plus 500. I would probably switch Joke and Henry for sure. Um, D. Crawford to plus 650. Pavin plus 750. Noah plus 850. Wesley down at plus 975. Mo down here with a cool plus 1,000. Ooh, that's that's a betting line right there for the Mo man. You know what I'm saying? Rage with that Twitch Prime. There he is. Scheming down there, plus 1,400. Mills with the plus 1,125. Boogs with the plus 1,100. Plus 1,400 for the scheme. Plus 1,500 for the Rage, man. Wesley, I mean, Wesley, who? I don't know who you would take yourself over. You like the Decroft bet is pretty good. I like the. I, I'm. Oh man, I mean, as a betting man, you kind of got to look down towards the Wesley Mo area. Bugs eleven hundred. Ooh, Decroft is hot. Decroft is hot. He's hot right now. You know what I'm saying? I just, you know what I'm saying? Drenny is a two-time belt winner. Cross on the heater. He's hot. That's one thing. Uh, that's one thing you got to realize, man. That when you're hot from playing LCQ, you've been in the mix. You have been in the mix. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, if you guys had one bet, not who you guys think are going to win, who would you bet on in this one? Uh, I would, if I was betting, I'm, I don't know, I'm feeling, I, 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 I it's weird, because I kill the kid all the time, but I, I, I'm feeling Wesley this tournament, I'm feeling a run for Wesley, I'm feeling a run for Wesley, I don't know why I've been, I, I feel like I've been killing him for three years straight, feeling a Wesley run, I'm feeling it. Drenny, joke, I mean, joke's a pretty solid bet. You know. So you guys like joke at plus 500 over Kiv at plus 475? Um, no Pavin love for the plus 750 for Pavin. He won his LCQ pretty easily. Pavin plus 750 is kind of a good deal. We uh, Nobody brought that up. Nobody brought up the Pavin plus 750. Noah plus 850. One thing about Noah is we don't know what he's going to look like on the salary cap. We know what Pavin looks like. The most a good, the most a good bet. It's tough to take Vault or Clef or even Journey because they're so high on the, on the odds. You know what I'm saying? I don't know the odds to win groups. Don't really know the eyes to win groups. Man. Oh, you want to see some eyes to win? I, I have, I the, my same anonymous source sent me odds. The same anonymous source sends me odds to be the last out. They sent me odds to be the last out or the first out of groups. I got the odds to be the first out of groups. Actually, I'll probably can do this. Right like this. Yeah. All right, you guys ready? Let's go. We're going to start with group A. All right. The odds to, to be left out. That is what we're going over right now. The odds to be left out. Now, I did not make these a unanimous source. And you will know that I didn't make these from the first one. You will know that I did not make these. Where the hell is my chat? Oh, there we go. Unanimous source. Boom. This is odds. To be the first out to go 0-3. 
This is the odds right here. I'm telling you, I didn't make these. You could tell by the first one. I didn't make this shit. I didn't make this list. But this is the odds to be 0-3 right here. We got Buzz as the favorite to go 0-3. Volt plus 500 to go 0-3. That's a long shot. Joke. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn, yo. I'm just saying. I, I, it's a unanimous source. It is a unanimous source. I cannot disclose my unanimous source for the pod, bro. I, I, I want to do this. Buzz is, Buzz, this is, bro. Telling you to finish eyes to finish last in groups, bro. It's not me. I ain't make these joints. Trust me. I, I have way too much time. <laughs> Next joint. Oh, man, this one don't fit. Eyes to finish last in the group. Boom. Eyes to finish last in the group. I have one sip of tequila. Let me take one more since that's got me slippy. You know what I'm saying? The tequila. It's early, boys. It's early. This is odds to yeah, last out of group. Next jaunt. We got to go to the next jaunt. Edit. Paste. Oh, my gosh. Why don't fit in here? Boom. Next group. Odds to be last in the group. Damn, they got scheming down here. Bad. Oh, yeah, I'm tripping with this shit. My bad. I'm sorry. Unanimous and anonymous. Same shit. It's my unanimous source. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, I feel like that's about... I feel like that's pretty solid. Now, if you bet on this person, that means you think they're going to be out, bro. Little man's not... I, I feel like you guys don't understand. <laughs> yeah, I feel like they don't really understand. Nah, I was like... <laughs> and I mean... Yo. Last group, boom. Who do you think the favorite to go 0 and 3 in this group is? Damn. My man raised with the lowest odds of the entire tournament, bro. Or the entire <laughs> the entire <laughs> odds to finish last in groups. Ray's got that smile, like, bro, like, he, he steals shit. Like, Ray's smile definitely is he steals shit. Like, he steals. Like, bro, he steals, for real. Ray's, bro, bro. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna give Ray's negative, though. I don't know how Wesley is... Oh, yeah, this <laughs> D-Croft definitely got the bullshit pick. Uh, I don't think Wesley would be, would he be, would that make him the favorite? I guess, I, I yeah, I guess this is a mistake. I don't know. Yeah, I don't understand. I really don't understand. Like I said, I, did, I dead ass didn't make these. I cropped out. The, oh, yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah, I, like I said, I didn't make these. But I think Wesley. All right, so I'm feeling I, when I saw this picture and I saw Wesley with Michael Vick, I feel like he's gonna make a run. D. Croft definitely got like, bro, like, yo, take this picture at home, bro. We're gonna make it black and white for the thing. Yeah, so that, that's the odds to make it out. Like I said, I didn't make these. I wouldn't make these. First of all, you guys know me, man. My graphics would be a little bit sharper than that, chat, right? That's what I'm saying. My graphics would be a little bit sharper than that. 
know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's something I'm excited. Obviously, I'm gonna pick Clef or Bugs to win the whole thing. Uh, I said, bro, I'm ready to watch people play. And fuck joke because I text him today and he didn't text me back. I don't like that shit, bro. I really don't. I really don't like when my fucking friends I text and they don't text me back, bro. That shit makes me mad. It makes me more mad. It makes me more mad when my friends don't text me back as when like hoes text me back, don't text me back. Because I understand when women don't text me back. I understand that shit. Like they don't want to talk to me. You know, I understand getting rejected by, by hoes. That's part of life. You know, I can take that on the chin. But when my Madden friends don't text me back, that shit makes me mad. It makes, like, whoa, what the fuck, bro? Like, what? I can't get a LOL or a okay or a yeah or, you know, like, I feel like, bro, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what the, like, you know what I'm saying? I hate that shit. Like, who the fuck are you? Mo, you understand? Who the fuck are you? Bro, I don't think Skimbo texted me back the last five texts I sent Skimbo, bro. I cannot tell y'all who did these odds, bro. I, I'm sworn secrecy. Text me, what's that? I got you. Sworn secrecy. Yeah, he can't. Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. What he did, can't answer a text. This go to the worst part, bro. I was like, damn. I text Joke. Damn, bro. I can't wait to see what offense you're, what scumbag offense you're running. He ain't say shit. I think I said, like, good luck tomorrow. Or good luck. I can't wait to see what offense you're running, bro. Or I'm hyped to see whatever scumbag shit you got going on with this lineup. I can't get a LOL or a word. Just, oh, yeah, stay tuned. Tune in or some shit. Like, damn, yeah, it's going to be tough or something. Like, damn, that's why I don't have fucking friends, bro. That's why I don't have friends. Fuck them, right? Fuck them. I can't, bro, I tell you, man. I don't know which one of my man friends actually answers me. I think, here go the worst, this is your worst friend, right? Clef, right? I'll be like, yo, Clef, yo, you need any help with Madden? Right? Oh, no, he texted me back to that. But then the, the worst friend, and Clef didn't do it, but here go the worst friend, right? You send him a text like, yo, what's up, man? And you ask him a question, right? And they don't answer you for a couple days, but then they want to go ahead and ask you a question. Like, you're supposed to answer their shit, after they egged you for three days. Like, what do you think this is? Like, I asked you something, but you let it marinate for three days. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. Man, people, bro. They ain't gonna answer, right? You feel me? Nah, Matt and Clef answered me, though. It just took, it just took a while, bro. I feel like, bro, come on. That's how, yo, all right, that's how it be, bro. Bugs. Bugs answered me. I'll just be, I'll just be feeling some type of way like you're a Madden dude, bro. Like, what the fuck? Like, what are you doing? No, Clef be answering me, though. Clef not bad at it. But Skimbo, bro, I, I can't tell you the last time he answered a text, bro. It'd be like that, though. That's how it go. Y'all wild. All right, let's talk about... This is what I am excited about. We got to watch... Yo, who is going to have the craziest room? Who's going to have the nicest room, chat? That's what I need answers about right now. Like, Because we saw LCQ. We saw the rooms... We saw everybody's bedroom. We saw their setup. This is what, are we going to, this is the questions I need to answer. What is Volt Lair? Volt has to have a lair. That's just going to be crazy. The evil genius is like lair that he cooks up just these offenses and all this shit with the swerves, all that stuff. Are we going to see Drenny's bed? Biggest question of the day, of the week. Are we going to see Drenny's bed? Did Drenny get a new bed or does he still have the, the little bed? You know what I'm saying? Does Wesley have bunk beds? <laughs> like, what? Yo, what if Wesley had bunk beds? <laughs> Wes, is Wesley on the farm? You know what I'm saying?
Journey in the living room? You think Journey's going living room, Journey? Kiv's playing in a mansion. Wesley could have a chicken. Wesley have bunk beds for Kiv. Jesus Christ. Of all the people that could have bunk beds, Wesley was one that could have bunk beds. You know what I'm saying? If Journey, yo, if Journey, yo, if Journey, if the Babushka pop out during the tournament, yo, we could see a Babushka mid tournament. We could see a Babushka. We could see a Babushka. Dvolk gonna be in the dark. I can't wait. I, should, I, I really have high hopes for how good LCQ was. For how uh, how many different offices I'm ready to see on this tournament. I have super high hopes for this tournament. I really do. Like I said, I will be will be live every game that's on. I'll be live watching it with you guys. Uh, I could see Henry. That's a good point, Max. I could see Henry having having the fancy type of vibe in the room. Nice clean bed. Nice you know iron sheets. All that stuff. Journey. Yo, what if, what if Journey Deadass had Mickey Mouse bed sheets? That would be hell. Journey's gonna have a bitch come out from under him after he wins. I don't know where that came from. I, 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 I'll take odds that Journey does not have a bitch come out from under his chair when he wins. I'll take odds that that doesn't happen. Does Henry have shoes on the dresser? Oh, yeah, that was wild. Like, what? Yo, Mickey Mouse sheets. If Journey has Mickey Mouse sheets, bro, he's, he's going undefeated. That would be hell. That would be hell if Journey popped up with, with Mickey Mouse sheets. Vault has Cheeto hands. <laughs> Bro, you don't bet against a man with Cheeto hands. No, D. Croft is going to have his golf shirt on, boys. Wildest bedroom accessory. What could be the wildest bedroom accessory? I can't even ask you guys that. You guys are going to take it too far. Seahawks polo. Bro, like I said before, is somebody else going to go golf shirt? Is somebody else going golf shirt? Yeah, Pavin, it's going to be hard to beat Pavin's setup, really. <laughs> Mo, if you go golf, no, you don't have like a Cowboys golf shirt. Mo, if you have a Cowboys golf shirt. <laughs> oh, shit. That'd be hell. Go full button. Hey, Mo, go full button up, bro. <laughs> go full button up. Uh, Kenneth the Cole. <laughs> Kenneth the Cole. <laughs> Yo, if Volt wore his belt, oh, my God. Bro, if Volt wore his belt, like, mid-game. <laughs> Yo, if someone wears their belt mid-game, bro, that would set it off. Braids might get glitchy in the setup. Would 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 rage definitely? I feel like rage definitely would go golf shirt. Would rage get? Could rage have the underrated setup? Odds on golf shirts. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. My, my unanimous source did not <laughs> did not uh give me odds on the golf shirts. Yo, full button up would be hell. Full button up tucked in to some ball shorts. <laughs> rage. Yo, this shit is the most fun. Do they do they have a, a, a dress code? What's the dress code? Cause I know we had two golf shirts. We had a jersey. Uh Yardstick wore a jersey. Hmm. Who else what else happened? I feel like J Wall had a jersey. I feel like Fancy just had a hoodie. Oh, they want you to go polo? Yo, mask. 
They want you to go polo? It's a little nuts for me. Drini. Oh, if Drini had... Yo, deadass, if Drini did have Mickey Mouse... Uh, <laughs> Mills definitely in a wife beater. A baggy John. <laughs> yo, Mills' stream gonna be nuts. Yo, I can't wait, dude. I really can't. I really can't wait. Golf shirt odds. All right, so if, if Clef does, in fact, say they want you to wear a golf shirt... Who, no doubt about it, is following the rules? Who, no doubt, if that's the rules, if that's what you want, I'm wearing a golf shirt. That's what I want to... Who is the no doubt about it, I'm following the rules gamer? I feel like Journey is right there. Mills is not the... Bro. Noah? Yeah, Journey is definitely... Journey might go double... He might go double golf shirt. <laughs> oh, you wanted the golf shirt? Okay. Journey. Volt would listen just because, yeah, Volt would probably listen for sure. Yeah, Celtics, I'll be live. <laughs> Yo, Journey definitely snitched on himself with a fake ID. Like, what? Journey definitely was like, yo, yo, I don't know if I'm supposed to be here. <laughs> Journey gonna have home and away jerseys. <laughs> yo, man. Is bro, all right. We agree. Boogs can't wear the do rag or the glasses, bro. I'm team Boogs all the way, like the biggest team. But but he can't if he wear the do rag or the glasses. I'm out. I'm out. I'm off the ship. You ever, y'all saw Titanic where the people said fuck it, I'm jumping. That's me. If I see those glasses or a do rag, you guys played Tomb Raider. What did Tomb Raider do when she jumps off the ledge? Bro, what, the two, y'all got y'all played Tomb Raider. Or what's the joint? Assassin's Creed. I'm Assassin's Creed and off the bro. No, bro. Clef, Clef going baldy? Clef not going baldy. You know, Clef, Clef holding on strong, bro. Clef holding on strong. Who is most likely to go 0-3 in the whole tournament? Oh, now nah, see. Who is most likely to go 0 and 3 in the whole tournament? We gotta actually look at the at the names. Can't lie, I gotta look at the names for that one. I might be ass, but I gotta look at the names. Oh, that's a good question. Most likely to go 0 and 3. I can't pick books, bro. Y'all got me fucked up. I mean, it might be rage. Little man is up there, but mo- most likely, bro, Bugs is not going 0 3, bro. I don't know if Bugs ever went 0 3. Has Bugs ever went 0 3? Bro, it's just no way he goes 0 3. Mo is most, no, Mo, is, but you can beat Mills, bro. Mo, if you play Mills, I, I don't think, like, yeah. Jesse, bro, your name is horrific. Once again, everybody put L's in the chat for Jesse's name. Put L's in the chat for having three underscores after your name. L's, L's. I mean, I want to flood the flood L's. Put an L with three underscores. That's the command. Somebody make a command when you type Jesse. It's an L with three underscores. Like this is the worst. Yeah, that's the worst shit ever. L with three underscores. What a fucking walking L Jesse is. Yo, my name's going to be cool as shit. I'm going to put these three underscores. I'm going to be the hottest thing on Twitch. Yeah, what? These three underscores look popping. Who's going to like these three underscores? Fucking Jesse Holder. Jesse Holder. He's holding a goddamn L. Jesse Holder a L. Underscores. Underscores. <laughs> uh, underscores just <laughs> it makes the L just bigger. It just makes the L bigger. Yo, that shit is brutal. That shit is brutal, boys. I can't wait, man. I will be live tomorrow, 5 p.m. It kicks off. Are you guys going to be here? I mean, you could hit the GGs. You could hit the GGs in the EA chat and get your silvers. You know what I'm saying? He really went from being a king to being three underscores. 
bro, if you're if you're naming these three underscores, bro, that's just not hot. It's not hot. I'm in this man bowl tomorrow. My game starts sub only, baby. Group B? I don't think any group is really easy to call. You know, I don't think nobody's a super favorite. I, I guess Clef. But, like, is Clef going to have an easy game with Noah? An easy game with Lou, man? Like, he might, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Clef is probably the easiest pick to, to make it out of groups or, or not get knocked out. But it's tough. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Peyton, so it's, it's like Big Nick probably, they said there's no there's no overlap in the games. So we'll get one. How many games will it be? One, two, three. How many games is it? Five? Each person has three games. I really don't know how many fucking games there are. Chad, somebody tell them. Six games? Straight? NBL. We want to see. All right. All right, another question, bro. Um, who is who are you guys rooting for the most? Like, do you want to win? If you had to pick one person, not that you think is going to win, but you want to win. Obviously, I'm, I'm, mine is Bugs and and Clef. Like, talk to me about who you want to win. You know what I'm saying? Not even a pick. Not even a. They got the easiest way, but who do you want to win? I see a lot, of Clef. I see a lot. Of, you know what I'm saying. Wesley, a Wesley fan? Okay. A black man. I mean, geez. What does Black Madden have in this tournament? Black Madden has Mills, Boogs, Clef, and Henry. Right? Do we have scheming too? Okay, y'all got five. Is that five? That's strong. Five out of sixteen. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, shoot. So y'all root, y'all root against the runners. Mayor, what's good? <laughs> oh, we'll see. All right, all right. So who? All right, now on on the flip side of that. On the flip side of that uh, chat, let me know. Uh, who are you, like, rooting against? Like, who are you guys rooting against? Like, I I don't want this person to win at all. Little man, Volt, joke. <laughs> I don't know how people are root, uh, Pavin. They have somebody rooting against Pavin? I don't think Pavin is, like, I don't think you can root against Pavin ever. Rage? Who <laughs> are you rooting against? Rage? Damn, lights! How you rooting against bugs? Yeah, that's Rage Hill. <laughs> I'm rooting against Niner. <laughs> Little man, most likely to cry if they want to belt. Oh man, rage. I mean, Bugs might be on the might cry if he wants a belt though. Little man, little man might cry if you want a belt, bro. For real. Little man, little man will probably cry. I don't, I don't take Joker as a crier. Yeah. The hype train. <laughs> Twitch told me the hype train is ready to leave the station.
Oh, man. But like I said, tomorrow, 5 p.m., come kick it with me. I'll be chilling, drinking this a little bit more tequila. Tequila. Tequila, tequila. This is the 18 hundo reposado. I don't know how I'm going to say that. Reposado. Y'all know. Mi Espanol is no, no bueno. This is what we sipping on. Four Cinco de Mayo, man. This is Cinco. This is the quarantine Cinco de Mayo. You know what I'm saying? But we'll be here tomorrow, 5 p.m. To kill a... To great. We're going to play something. But uh, we'll be here tomorrow, 5 p.m. I appreciate all you guys can get through. Like I said, man, drop your cash app or the PayPal below. I've been blessing people that have been rocking with the podcast on YouTube for sure. Because it's like 500 of y'all every week that listen to this. Uh, this week is going to be popping. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to have a show every night. Uh, but we definitely will be live every night during all these games. So if something crazy happens, we can definitely talk about it on the spot. So if you're not in the Twitch chats, man, I don't know what you're missing out though. Hit that like button. Hit the sub. Hit every button that's possible on YouTube, man. I appreciate all the support. Y'all getting on the podcast. This was episode 79. 80 episodes next week. 